Hello, beautiful friends. This is Erica with Whisper Rose Insights here to do a special manifesting reading. Um, first off, a couple of announcements. I um, am super excited about the feedback I got from the last video I did about, you know, stepping into my power and really fully coming into my authenticity and who I am and, and um, the fact that I'm kind of merging my world, all of my worlds here by doing this channel and my other work. And um, it's felt really good. And I just so appreciate all of your guys's kind comments and support. It's just been fabulous. And, um, you know, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while. And it just felt right. It just felt like it was finally time I had kind of moved through what I needed to just process in my head and in my heart and it just it wasn't even a question it really wasn't there just came a point where I was like this I have it's just needed to be done so with that um I have been super busy <laughs> since then with end of school year and um my personal life and all sorts of stuff so I am a little late in getting you a video but you know it's actually kind of perfect timing because now I'm actually early for the new moon reading um so the new moon is coming in two days on June 13th, and new moon energies are really, really powerful for the two days leading up and then the two days after especially. But really the energies, you know, last a lot longer than that, but they're especially potent in sort of the four-day window. And so we're right now at the beginning of that four-day window. And those of you who know new moons are about manifesting. So I'm going to be doing a reading for the collective right now. Um... This is going to be for both Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Soulmates, um, Twin Flames, uh, Karmic Relationships, like really, really significant relationships. So whatever term you identify with, um, this is intended for that. So I'm going to do a spread where we're talking about what this new moon energy is going to support in terms of manifesting. So it's going to be interesting to see what energies are around right now to help manifest for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And uh, with that, this is a citrine. You guys, have, if you've been around here, you've seen this. I love this particular stone. But this is a stone for manifesting energy. This is very, very powerful creativity manifesting. It comes from, so our sacral chakra is where we host our manifesting energy. So this is supportive for that. Um, so it's going to be here for the reading. And what else, what else, what else? I feel like I have more to say, but um, I'm not a fan of super long intros. But I do feel like there's more. Um... Yes, so this is a general reading, so take whatever messages resonate for you and leave the rest. There are going to be multiple messages coming through for those of you watching. Spirit knows how it's going to come to you. And regardless of when you watch this video, it could be two years from now. If somehow you're guided to listen to this and watch this and the messages resonate because that's when it's supposed to reach you. So this isn't necessarily a time-specific um, reading, even though I just said it's a new moon reading, because it is. But that's just the way spirit works. So um, I've had people even comment on my videos saying that, you know, they'll look at videos from a year ago, not a year ago, because I didn't have my channel a year ago, but whatever, many, many months ago. And randomly they came across it and it made so much sense for them at that moment. So um, just know that's how spirit works. And if you want to book a private reading with me or a live guidance session or an energy session to help with blocks, to help look at um, things that are kind of getting in the way of your union, of your wholeness, um, please do reach out to me. Information is going to be down in the box below. So what I'm going to do is going to start with looking at Divine Masculine. Okay, this just jumped out for him. Five of Cups. So he's kind of in an energy where... He's um, still kind of looking at the past, looking at where things have gone wrong, um, looking at what went wrong in the past and not really noticing that the two cups are here um, right next to him. So this is an energy of change. So there is an energy of kind of looking and reflecting and trying to understand something. So, and again, this is um, a general reading. I'm going to put that back in the deck and see if it comes back out. So first we're going to look at... Um, I'm going to pull some cards and I'll show you each of them. So first is what is the divine masculine trying to let go of right now? Because when we're talking about manifesting energetically, you need to let go of something before you can bring something in, right? It just makes sense. That's why clutter clearing in your house is really, really good. Getting rid of old stuff so that new things can come in. Nature abhors a vacuum. So part of manifesting and creating is to let go of something to make room for the new. So let's see what the Divine Masculine is in the process of letting go of. What is he letting go of? So he's letting... 
So he's in the process of letting go his fear of being this king of cups, this 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 energy of actually being able to connect to emotions. Um, it can indicate also just an energy where he's um, he's letting go of the limiting belief that he can be, you know, a strong, powerful man. Um, and again, man isn't gender specific. We're just talking divine masculine energy. Um, and if we're talking soulmates, this could be one partner or the other. So whatever label you um, resonate with is it, it's less important than the energies. But it's like he's letting go of the fact that he can't be this person. He can't be a strong, a strong energy, a strong, active, um, you know, king who rules by being connected to his emotions. So that's really interesting that he's in the process of letting go of that. Let's see whether he's in the process of manifesting, sorry, manifesting. And this just jumped out. The Knight of Swords. He's manifesting, um, coming forward with his truth. Now he is in the process also of making sure he doesn't speak too quickly and <laughs> like not speaking impulsively. So he is wanting to, he's wanting to charge forward with his truth and so the energies right now are very much supporting that happening. Um, there is an energy coming through of like, you know, he's letting go of not being connected to his emotions and he wants to communicate that to you. So this new moon for some of these, these divine masculines is coming in with this, okay, like now I get it and now I just want to move forward. But he's also trying to be a little bit careful to not, <laughs> to not do it too quickly. So he's, I've, I'm getting the, the energy of like, it's like he's finally come into this and realizing he knows his emotions. And so it's almost like, you know, when you figure something out, you just want to act on it. Like if you've ever left a job or you've decided you're going to leave a job and you want to give notice and the moment you give notice, you're like, I just want to get out of here because you've already made the decision. So that's the energy I'm getting from these cards with the, um, Divine Masculine right now. Let's see what he's needing to let go of when it's coming to love. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to the Divine. Sorry, I don't even know where to look. See, I'm so not used to doing this on camera. I don't even, I'm always just so focused here. And now I'm like, oh, I have to look over here and connect. So bear with me as I get through this learning curve of being on camera. So let's look at Divine Feminine. Oh, and before we do that, see, I, and this is a spread that I've never done before. It just, I just sat in meditation prior to getting on camera, and this is what Spirit wanted me to do. Um, so let's get a, a card for his overall energy. Currently, Divine Masculine. Oh, he's in the Ten of Pentacles. He knows he wants this happy family. He knows he wants this manifesting in the physical plane. So overall, that's where it's like he's come into this truth with his emotions. He knows he wants a happy family. He's now realizing it, and he's ready to move forward. So that's his overall energy. And I just saw at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups. Just saying. Message coming through for some of you there. Wish is coming true. Nine of Cups is very, very happy energy. Like the divine is very, very supportive of the divine masculine. Spirit is very supportive of divine masculine. Hugh has come into this understanding and knowing. So now let's get for the divine feminine. Let's see what she's in the process of letting go of. And I'm going to use a different deck for this. This is the mythical tarot. Let's see what she's in the process of letting go of. Ace of Cups, new beginning in love. She's letting go her belief that this isn't coming. It's it's like a lot of divine feminines have been feeling that it's coming, but they don't have evidence of it yet. And so she's letting go of believing that it's never going to happen, which is beautiful. Let's see what she's in the process of manifesting. King of Wands, man who takes action, being decided, like leading from... Um, from power, he's motivational, he knows what he wants, and he takes action. So she's manifesting the King of Wands energy coming towards her because she's no longer has that block in believing that it's happening. It's like there's a shift happening in Divine Feminines where even though there might not be things happening on the surface yet, although there are so many things happening for certain certain twin flames right now, it's been crazy. The manifesting, it's like happening really quickly for certain ones, um, sort of this initial, initial group of people coming in, like this major wave. Um, 
but it feels like even those of you that are not seeing any sort of haven't maybe have not been in communication or you don't know but like you feel like something's brewing and because you're in the process of letting go of your belief in this new beginning you're in the process of manifesting this man who this man the divine masculine again gender doesn't matter but divine masculine taking action being very motivated, being coming through with just knowing what he really wants. And let's see what her overall energy is in this process. Her overall energy, Divine Feminine, right now. Oh, she is embodying the High Priestess. She knows what she does. She knows what she knows, and she may not be sharing it. But she's bridging heaven and earth. She's in this energy of the High Priestess who, she is the one who connects and stays connected to spiritual truth no matter what's going on around her. So there could be all sorts of things happening in the 3D and the circumstances around. Um, but she's still embodying the energy of the high priestess. Ooh, this is getting good. So high priestess, and one of the other decks I use all the time, the, um, the angel tarot. I love the image of the high priestess in that deck because she's just standing with her arms open looking to the heavens as there's this tempest swirling around her in the physical plane and she is not phased at all you know and I've have had a lot of clients recently like have something come up that in the through like maybe they see something on social media or they see or they hear some news about their counterpart and it and they're getting tested to stay in that high priestess energy so let's see what um, Divine Masculine is trying to um, let go of when it comes to love specifically, okay? Let's see what he's letting go of when it comes to love. <laughs> he's letting go of denying there's chemistry. He, I don't think he's ever really denied that there's chemistry, but he's, it's like he's gone beyond the fact that there's chemistry. It's like there's... Um, he knows that it's it's far beyond just the so the chemistry is the sign and it's a physical phenomenon and it's an energetic phenomenon but he knows that it's far beyond just chemistry he understands that it's very very um it's beyond that i know i just said that but there's no other way to say it it's like he knows that there's something bigger here let's see what he's in the process of manifesting when it comes to love Really good time to forgive, right? He's he's bringing he's coming into a place where he's really um, wanting to forgive himself, wanting to forgive others, having compassion, learning from the past. So it's like this transition. It's like he's come from this transition with this King of Cups, um, with his truth of knowing that the past is the past. It's all been a learning process, and um, there may be things he's done or said or. Um, worked through from past relationship, karmic partners, family of origin things. Um, he's, this is, re it's like he's kind of finally tying it up in a nice little bow. You know, there might have been some unfinished business, there might have been some loose ends, and it feels like that's what he's in the process of manifesting, is finally just kind of moving through it once and for all. So let's see what the Divine Feminine is in the process of letting go of when it comes to love. Let me go of the doubts. It's so interesting because these cards, I've never used them in this capacity before, but she's letting go of um, not only, so she's letting go of the denial that there is a, a very deeper connection here. Because there's a lot of divine feminines that are in this place of like starting to, is this really my divine counterpart? Is this really my twin flame? Is this really my soulmate? Is this the person I think they are? Am I just totally imagining this? So they're letting go of the fact that um, this relationship has in the past that there's a deeper connection but there's also a message coming through and again being a general reading there's a lot of scenarios coming through um, but it's also that she's in the process of trying to release the past as well she's trying to let go of either blocks that are coming in for her manifesting this energy um, which often can stem from past life um, scenarios but it's also almost like she's just wanting to move on. That's it's interesting because we're getting it's right underneath this ace of cups. So this she's letting go of, of the fact that she's letting go of the past to manifest this new beginning in love. Because if she holds on to the past and frustrations and and resentments of maybe things that have unfolded, it's not going to move forward. And so I love that this is what the, a lot of the divine feminines are letting go of. So what is she in the process of manifesting relating to love? 
Oh, wow. True love. Romance of a lifetime. She's realizing that what really matters is um, having done the work, coming into wholeness, coming into her power, coming into self-love is really what matters. You know, staying stuck in the past, resentment, all of that only hurts you. So by letting go of these past things, um, and I, here's what I love is that for both divine masculine and divine feminine, there's forgiving and learning, moving on from the past. I think it's amazing. Amazing. Okay. I want to get into some advice now because now we know sort of the overall energies. I'm peeking over at my notes. I kind of just made up this spread earlier, like some spirit guided me to do it this way. So I'm just taking a look at the notes that I wrote over there in the corner. Um, let's see what Michael wants to give as advice for divine masculine and divine feminine of how to, um, what does he want you to know with this new moon energy? What's the most important thing? I'm going to pull one card for each. So for divine masculine, he's saying to detach from the situation. This is about letting go of fears. Okay. Letting go of fears, letting go and detaching from the situation, um, attachment to fear or drama. So knowing that peace is everywhere within me in this situation. So they're saying that, so there may have been a lot of drama in the past with past relationships, um, karmic partners, um, you know, very significant relationships and the fears that things are not, um, he's saying let go of fear because what's, you know, when we have the Knight of Swords, this is what he's bringing in is this truth, this clarity. And he's saying, let go of the fear. Like, you know the truth. You have the clarity now. So try, let go of the fear. We all have those fears. And I was just having a conversation with a client yesterday where you come to this point in the journey where it's like fear goes away. It really, really does. And I can, it, to the point where it's like, I'm going to show up truly as me because this is me. And I'm going to let go of the fears because the fears are attached to old stories we're telling ourselves, right? Um, so, all right, Divine Masculine, you're stepping up. You are stepping up. Okay, let's see what the advice is from Archangel Michael for Divine Feminines right now. Oops. And it's saying prayer will help with this situation. And it says... Um, Welcoming guidance from the divine with gratitude and grace and sending me a miracle. So I feel like because the divine feminine, the divine feminines that this is resonating for, um, have gotten to this place where they're letting go of the doubt and they're really moving into trusting, healing the past and just saying, let's kind of see where we're at now. The energies are different. I'm different. You're different. And, and the divine's going to support the divine feminine by bringing you a sign. So there's going to be signs and synchronicities. And this is where you need to ask um, spirit for this. This is an important piece of it. It's like sometimes we feel like we're sort of at the mercy of spirit and of the universe and kind of just waiting to see. But guys, we co-create with the universe. We're constantly co-creating. And they're always giving us signs and synchronicities and little messages and the more you start to be in tune with those little messages and signs, the more they're going to give you because you're, you're having that dialogue. Okay. So divine feminines, ask for a sign. I can't tell you how many times myself, my clients, my other, um, channeler friends who are doing this work as well are texting or calling with like, Oh my God, you want to believe the synchronicity of the message I just got today by asking. I mean, I, okay, so the other day I asked for this sign. It's in a situation where it's like, oh, I just would like a sign. And I got a sign through a song. I got a sign through um, a song. And I was so happy about that. I was just smiling from ear to ear to ear. And it was just like, okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me that. And it was beautiful. Only a couple hours later, not only did I get that sign, but I got like crazy stuff happening. Um... And I literally was laughing going, all right, you just really kind of showed me up, spirit. <laughs> you showed, okay, I thought that was the sign and I was totally happy with it and grateful for it. And you just kind of upped the game a little bit. So it was really, really beautiful. 
So you can have that same experience and dialogue as well. And that is part of this journey is really opening up to that and trusting and starting to see. Cause there's, I can't tell you how many times I'll get stories from clients and people. It's like, you can't make this stuff up if you tried because that's the way that it's all orchestrated. It's so that it's so freaking ridiculous that it's not even possible. It's not a sign. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, Oh, it's possible. It's just a coincidence. No. And guys, I'm doing, I'm creating um, a series of videos that gets into a lot of this information in more depth, but <laughs> that's one of the things I talk about. All right. Let's see what the advice is. Um, sorry. I, Spirit had me bring, bring that up because I guarantee you that's a message for some of you watching. Let's see what the advice is from the goddesses for Divine Masculine at this time. Oh my gosh, we're getting past life. We're getting a lot of mirroring. For the Divine Feminine, we're getting past life. And the Divine is the, the Divine Masculine is being guided because, like I said, he knows it's far more than just the chemistry, right? He knows it's more the chemistry. He knows that this is something bigger here. And it's he's getting his even if he's not conscious of it, saying, oh, we must have had a past life together. His soul knows this. His soul feels it. So your past life memories, Divine Masculine, are coming in. And we're getting Isis. She's the Egyptian goddess. Which is interesting, because I just did a... I went to a workshop last week that um, tuned into her energy, so it was pretty powerful. Let's see what the advice is for the Divine Feminines right now. <laughs> oh, we get Bridget. Don't back down. It's saying stand up for what you believe is right. They're just affirming this for you and acknowledging this in you, Divine Feminines, for not backing down to kind of enduring some of the, up, the, some of the ups and downs, the ups and downs of this journey, the fears, the limiting beliefs that you are now purging and clearing and moving through. So they are supporting you in this. So what's very interesting, so this is what's really interesting about the spread. Um, I started this just as what is up to be manifested with this new moon energy. And both the divine masculine and the divine feminine got cups energy. Okay. They got cups energy in terms of it's their manifesting emotional um, things, uh, relationship things. So they're both in this place of this being a very pivotal time for you, for, for them. So I'm going to pull from the whispers of love deck and just get, what does the divine masculine, what's advice for the divine masculine relating to manifesting love right now? Okay, be supportive. It says make a genuine effort to show that you care. And that's what he's doing. You know, he knows he cares, right? This is what he's letting go of is not being in his emotions. And he knows this and he's about to try to communicate this, but he's just trying to figure out how to communicate that he cares. And he wants to be supportive of you. He wants to show that he is capable of, even though he knows you're fully capable by yourself. It's like he wants you to know that he wants, he's, he needs to just know that it's time to show that he cares. Let's see for the Divine Feminine. What's important? What's advice for her relating to manifesting love with this energy? I love you. These are very important words. So again, Divine Masculine is saying this to the Divine Feminine right now that have, have gotten into this place where they're trusting and they're moving through and letting go of the past and starting to create new. That's an awesome card, huh? And it's actually what the what the outside of the deck is. All the, all the cards have this on. That's the one they've chosen for the head of that deck. I feel like there's more that's coming out. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I knew there was more. I wasn't feeling complete. So I'm just going to let, I'm going to see what um, both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine need to let go of. Surrender. Just another surrender message as a wrap up. What does the Divine Masculine need to surrender right now? Surrender to creativity. 
It says, let your imagination soar, stay open to all creative ideas and how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. That's it. Getting supported in making, speaking, moving forward with his truth, but not too impulsively. So he's getting creative right now. He's trying to figure out how to make his approach, what he's going to do, what he's going to say, how it's going to all work. And spirit and the universe is going to support him, letting go of, it's like being open to getting a solution. They're going to help him find a solution and the hows and wins and all that. So let's see what the divine feminine needs to surrender. Oh, surrender to the magic of who you are. And it says we all have magic within us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. So reminder, Divine Feminine, let go of any past fears, past conditioning, any limiting beliefs right now. This is about surrendering to your magical, your magical, your magical self. I was going to say another word in there, but I kind of held back. Um, all right, guys. So manifesting new moon, beautiful energies right now. So much is happening. I can't even tell you. I have so many clients that are on the brink of union, starting to come into union and I'm getting this energy this, they gave me this image before I came on the camera of popcorn. You know, if you ever make popcorn on the stove, which is the only way I make it, FYI, I don't use the microwave. Um, haven't for more than a decade. Um, so you put the kernels in the pot and you put some oil in there. I use coconut oil. Um, and it's, you turn on the heat and you, it starts sizzling and you can hear it sizzling. It's like you know something's brewing and any second something's going to pop. And then I'll tell you with what's been happening energetically is you'll get like one thing that pops. And then you'll get another pop. And then you get another pop. And then all of a sudden it's like pop, 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 pop. Like everything happens all at once. There's like this burst of energy, of communication, of things happening. And that's what's been happening. So if you're feeling like that popcorn pot where things are just about to start, pay attention. This new moon would be awesome for you. So that's the reading for today. I hope that was helpful. If you want a specific reading like this, specific to you and your soulmate, twin flame, um, divine counterpart, please do reach out. I'd be happy. Just let me know that this is the type of spread you'd like to have done. Um, and in the meantime, I send you guys so much love. Until next time. Bye.